This is Richard with JR Propo, and this is the 11th in a series of videos regarding how to set up a new helicopter model in the JR T44 transmitter using the JR Tags Mini 3 axis flybarless gyro system. In the last video, we installed the linkage between the servo arms and the swash blade, made sure that the swash plate was level and halfway through its vertical travel, and calibrated the Tags Mini. In this video, we're going to connect the tail rotor pushrod to the tail servo and check the directions of gyro compensation for all three axes and correct them as necessary. We're going to begin by turning the transmitter on and then powering up the onboard electronics on our helicopter. Again, we wait for the TAGS Mini to initialize before doing anything else. We don't disturb the transmitter sticks or the helicopter itself. Once again, we're going to put the TAGS MIDI in the function menu by pressing the S button and holding it until the lights begin to circulate. We're now in the function menu and the gain lamp is lit. With the TAGS MIDI in the function list, the gyros are again effectively disabled. We're going to move the tail rotor push rod until the loop in the ball link on the push rod is over the ball on the tail rotor servo, which we already centered in a previous video, and we're going to check the pitch in the tail rotor. We're going to adjust the length of the tail rotor push rod so we have four or five degrees against torque in the tail rotor. In this helicopter, four to five degrees of pitch in the tail against torque equates to four to five degrees of right rudder. If this were a left-hand system helicopter where the main rotor head turns counterclockwise, we would be putting left rudder in to counter torque. We're going to snap our ball link on and we're going to check to make sure that the tail rotor servo moves the tail in the correct direction. The next thing we're going to do is check the direction of gyro compensation for each of the three axes in the TAGS Mini. We're going to enter some artificially high gyro gain settings for rudder, aileron, and elevator to make it easier to see the direction of gyro compensation. On our T44, we're going to press the L or List button on the left hand side to enter into the function list, and we're going to scroll to the upper right of the screen to gyro sense. Highlight gyro sense and click the roller. Now in the gyro sense menu we're going to do a couple of things. Notice it says position zero here which puts us in our normal or rate mode for the gyro for all three axes. We're going to flip to position one because it's going to be a little bit easier to see things in heading hold mode. So now that we're in position one, we're going to scroll over and we're going to artificially inflate the values for position one for our rudder gyro gain, our aileron gyro gain, and our elevator gyro gain. We're going to run these up to 100% here. Now you could increase these by bumping the trim input switches that we set up before, but because these changes are so large, it's just easier to do them with the roller. Okay, so they're all up to 100% now. Back to our TAGS Mini. We're still in the function menu with the gain LED still lit. We're going to press the F button until the LED next to REV for reverse switch is lit. One push takes us to norm. Next push takes us to Cal. Next push takes us to Rev. I'm going to press the S button. And now we see that the Rev button is flashing slowly and the elevator is on steadily. We're going to press it again. And they're both flashing rapidly. Next, we're going to pick the helicopter up, and I apologize, this is difficult to see on the video. We're going to tip the helicopter fore and aft and watch for the swashplate action. 
I tip it nose down and the swash plate is tipping forward. I tip it nose back and it's tipping back. So it's going in the wrong direction for compensation. Don't know if you can see this here, but it's tipping forward when I tip the helicopter forward. So we're going to need to correct that. Looking back at our Tags Mini, the manual mentions a plus and a minus button to change the direction of gyro compensation. These are the same as the C and the F keys. The C is the plus button, the F is the minus button. We're going to press one to try to reverse the direction. If that doesn't do it, we'll press the other. So we're going to start by pressing the plus or C button and see if that changes the compensation direction. Once again, we're going to pick our helicopter up and we're going to tip it. Okay. The swash plate compensation is still not correct. We pressed the C button last time. That did not reverse the compensation, so we're going to press the F or minus button this time. Okay, we're going to lift the helicopter up, tip it back and forth. As I tip the nose down, the swash plate tips aft. So our compensation is correct. I'm going to press the S button on the Tags Mini to save the compensation direction setting for elevator. Now I'm going to press the C button. And the lamp near aileron is now lit. I'm going to press the S button and it will now flash rapidly. Now, you may notice it looks like the entire row of LEDs is flashing on the side of the Tags Mini Tortoise. That's just a reflection. It doesn't actually look that way in real life. We're now going to roll the helicopter left and right and observe the action of the swash plate. As I roll it left, the swash plate is rolling to the right. As I roll it to the right, the swash plate is moving to the left. Compensation direction for aileron is correct. Going back to our Tags Mini, we're going to press S to save the compensation direction for aileron. And we're going to press the C button to advance to rudder. We're going to press the S button one more time so that the rudder lamp will start fluttering. We're going to rotate the helicopter as though it's yawing and observe the direction in which the tail rotor blades move. As we swing the sail back and forth, what we're looking for for correct compensation is for the trailing edge of the blade to move in the direction in which the tail is moving. In this case, it is not. It is backwards. Back to our Tags Mini. We're going to try pressing the plus or C button to see if that changes the direction of compensation for rudder. Compensation direction is now correct. Back to our Tags Mini, we're going to press the S button to save the compensation direction for rudder. We're now going to press and hold the F button to return to the function menu in the Tags Mini. And now we're going to power down the Tags Mini. So the compensation directions for all three axes, elevator, aileron, and rudder, pitch roll, and yaw, are now set correctly in the Tags Mini. Going back to our T44, we're going to return the artificially high gyro gains that we set to check the compensation direction back to our 50% starting point for each of the three gyro gain channels. We're going to press the L button twice to back out to the home screen. In the next video, we're going to set the limiters in the Tags Mini. Thank you.